Hello everyone, welcome to another video on Ayush paper. Would you believe me if I told you that there's a sketchbook that will work for any calligraphy needs? In today's video, I'm going to experiment career markers with different paper GSMs. It's highly important to have the right kind of paper for lettering or calligraphy to have a satisfactory result. Watch till the end to see more. Mohana from Mohana's Design, an artist and a calligrapher. I love creating art and currently I'm working on my love for textures. I'm a part-time artist and I work full-time as a software team lead in an MNC. If you're interested to check more of my artworks or products, visit my website and socials linked in the description. Coming to today's video, I'm going to use different papers from brands which I don't want to mention because I'm not here to dictate any brand but to show you the ones that work best for my works using Karen markers. If you haven't come across Karen markers, they are juicy watercolor based pens. They are highly pigmented and I honestly love the consistency of these pigments in the brush pens. And it's very hard to find a paper that can hold its ink without bleeding. So here's what I'm going to do today. I have papers from 80 GSM to 300 GSM. I'm going to experiment these pens on each of these papers and let's see if it bleeds or not. I'm going to start with the 80 GSM paper first. Karen Marcus has a large tip and is very flexible to work with calligraphy or lettering. I'm going to letter the word first and then blend with the darker tones and the lighter tones to see if it's going to bleed to the paper or not. Even with less application of pressure or without even blending, I can see some bleeds and when I use the blender that Karen Marcus usually has, the paper kind of ripped off and I was really not happy with how it blended or how it bleeded into the paper. You can see some of the paper residue when I blended and you can see that the effect was not at all good so I'm just going to go ahead with the 120 GSM paper. The 120 GSM paper was a little textured compared to the 80 GSM and the Kirill markers did work well on the first try but with application of a little more pressure on the tip there was a little bleed as you can see but overall the effect was really good and I, I was happy with it. When I tried to use the blender it did not work that well because there were some of the bleeds and I was not happy with how it blended with the paper. As you can see when I was using the blender some of the residue of the paper came off and the blend was not at all good. but. It was good lettering for the first time on 120 GSM. The next paper I'm going to use is of 200 GSM thickness. The paper was a little more textured compared to the other papers and the lettering part came out really well is what I can say. I'm going to blend with the lighter tone and let's see how it turns out when it dries out. The last paper that I'm going to try out is of 300 GSM. It is a lot more textured compared to the other papers and surely because of the texture there was a little more bleed but I really like the blending effect that it gave. But after it dries out I was not happy with how it uh, blended or there was a lot more bleeds compared to what I was expecting. The final sketchbook that I'm going to use is Irish Paper's Fountain Pen Sketchbook. The paper was of 100 GSM thickness and as you can see the pen was gliding off super smooth on this paper. And the blender almost left zero residue of the paper and it blended out really perfectly. I'm going to show you how amazing the finish was after it dried out. 
absolutely loved how these two shades of blue blended out beautifully and once it was dried out i really loved the effect that it was showing on the paper let me know in the comments if you think so too and compared to the 300 gsm i was expecting it to not bleed at all but there was a lot more bleeds once it was dried out and honestly uh, working with textured paper is not good for the brush pens that you use because it's going to fray the tip of the brush pen and it is not going to work out in the long run i had the similar experience with the other gsms too the blend did not work out at all but if you use it just for lettering it it does work out but you can see some of the bleeds coming off you know so i don't prefer lettering on these textures but i can say you can give it a try if you are interested to work with them but my favorite of all is this sketchbook from ayush paper because i really loved how it looked that's what i can say it's really important to find the right kind of paper which isn't grained and has a super smooth surface because grained or textured papers will fray your brush pens very quickly and may even lead to unsatisfactory strokes. If you're a beginner to calligraphy, it's really important to have guidelines to practice along the lines. And this sketchbook really worked well with any tools that I used for the calligraphy. I did experiment this sketchbook with some of the other calligraphy tools that I have and all of them worked really well. Even the glass pen did not rip off the paper that was a shock to me and I was really happy with how it looked. Even the Kirin markers blend came out really well with other tones too. And I had some other brush pens too and they worked amazingly well on this sketchbook. So if you are a beginner and if you are looking for a perfect sketchbook for your calligraphy needs, I must say this is the one. It is available on different sizes. This is A4 size that I currently have. It, it comes in dotted, plain and ruled books too if you are interested to practice. And if you are a beginner and if you want to try out a little sample, you can even check out the one that I currently used which is of A5 size. You can check out Ayush Paper's website for amazing journal sketchbooks and many art related products. It has a huge range of products with different mediums. I've been working with these sketchbooks for a long time and they are my go to for any artworks and they are of perfect size and lightweight to carry. If you have any doubts regarding art supplies, different mediums or anything related to art, you can check out askayushpaper.com and ask your queries there. Artists like me will be helping you out with your queries. I hope this video was of some use to you. If it was, let me know in the comments. And if you have any further queries about calligraphy, you can always reach out to me on my socials. I have linked all of them in the description. I'll see you next time. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.